Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today, have you ever asked this question? What does he see in me? I have a friend whose choice in a husband left me scratching for many years. Just what does she see in him? I just don't get it. He's outrageous, impulsive, loud, opinionated, and unpredictable. He wants the center of attention all the time. He must be exhausting to live with. However, in her mind, he was the most exciting, creative, and determined man she had ever met. She adored his gregarious personality. She daily gave thanks for the gift God gave her in her spouse. That fellow who drove me absolutely bonkers made her life a joyous adventure. But when I began to see him through her eyes, I began to see his charm. Through her eyes, I actually grew to love the man. I sometimes wonder though, just what does God see in me? I mean, I freely admit it. There are days I just shake my head at my bad attitudes, my improper reactions and bad habits. He certainly could have done a lot better in my humble opinion. I'm no catch. Yet, he deliberately chose me to be his own. God was more than well aware of my many flaws, and yet he still set out to capture my heart. J.I. Packer says this so well in Knowing God. If you haven't read that book yet, grab a copy of it. He sees all the twisted things about me that my fellow man do not see, and I'm glad. There is, however, equally great incentive to worship and love God in this thought. For some unfathomable reason, he wants me as his friend, and he desires to be my friend, and he gave his son to die for me in order to realize this purpose, not merely that we know God, but that he knows us. Have you ever played hide and seek with a 18 month old to about a two year old? When it's their turn to hide, they'll quite often just cover their eyes and stay in the room where you are thinking that if they can't see you, you can't see them. And sometimes we do that with God. We think if we close our eyes, then God can't see us and we remain hidden. I'm sure that must give God a little bit of a chuckle. He sees us, all of us, warts and all, and he loves us anyhow. But he loves us so much, he's not content to allow us just to stay where we're at. He wants us to grow in him, learn more about him, and in the process, learn more about ourselves. And as we develop that mutual appreciation society where I learn more about him and he helps me learn more about myself, that we begin to see incredible growth in our lives. So today, if you think you're hiding from God, parts of your life that you'd rather him not see, I hate to tell you this, but he already knows, and it's okay. He's just asking you to come over for a little chit-chat and get to know him a little bit more.